ah, do you see what I did there? <laughs> Nina's with us. Please tell me it's going to get a bit warmer. A, a little bit warmer. We have lost those really hard overnight frosts. That's because the cloud has increased. It gives us some overnight protection. But by day, it's been rather grey and cloudy. It's also felt quite chilly today with that cold northeasterly breeze. And at times, this cloud was thick enough for a few showers around. Now, they will continue for this evening. But by tomorrow, most of them will have cleared away. And as the day goes on, more likely to pick up some brighter skies, some sunshine. And for the next few days, it is going to stay mostly dry. So still the chance of some showers coming down on that northeasterly breeze at first tonight, but then it's dry, still breezy with a fair amount of cloud. We're staying frost free at around two to three degrees. If we do catch a shower tomorrow, it's most likely across parts of East Kent. And you can see after a little bit of a cloudy start, we'll see some brighter spells developing through the afternoon and the winds falling a little lighter as well. Temperatures tomorrow, seven to eight degrees. With the clearing skies as we lose the cloud, it does mean a colder start on Saturday morning. Temperatures hovering around about freezing, so we may see a slight frost. But Saturday is expected to be fine and dry with so much longer spells of sunshine. And so with that sunshine, it just does start to help the feel of the day. And so temperatures at six to seven degrees, but hopefully it should, shouldn't feel too bad. Just signs of that cloud increasing through the second half of Saturday. And that's because there is this very weak cold front, which will see the return of those cloudy skies but pressure remaining high, so we're not expecting any rainfall through the weekend. It should be a dry weekend, but after a sunny Saturday comes a rather cloudy Sunday. The cloud again, keeping things frost free first thing in the morning at around two to three degrees. And whilst first thing in the morning, it is rather gray and overcast. As the day goes on, we may just pick up a hint of brightness. Those temperatures again at around seven to eight degrees. Ellie was after a little bit of warmth and there are signs as we go into the start of next week that those temperatures may just start to pick up by a few degrees as we drag in some slightly milder air. So we might even get into double figures by Tuesday, oh, Ellie. Glorious, <laughs> I get very grumpy when I'm cold. Thank you, Nina.